Hi, I'm Heather Kennedy. I'm health visitor here in Seton Valley. Um, we work across three different GP practices. Um, really enjoyable job, really fulfilling. The group that we run today on a Tuesday morning is actually the breastfeeding group. Um, we invite local mums to come down. It's a drop-in so that they can come at any point during the morning between 10 and 11 o'clock. It's really informal. We offer them drink, chat, um, and obviously there's breastfeeding support and advice there as and when they need it. The, the big part really for our mums is the, the social aspect and the fact that they're all local mums from the area who have come in together to have first or subsequent babies um, and we're hopefully looking towards sustaining breastfeeding for those mums and giving them the support that they need. Hi, I'm Barbara Haggy. I'm a nursery nurse with the community for the health visitors and I spend some of my time in the Sure Start centres weighing babies at the breastfeeding support groups and at the normal drop-in clinics. I think the benefits for the parents are just huge. It can be a very, very lonely time when you have a baby and to be able to come along and speak to other mums going through the same experiences is just very, very useful. As a professional, we can give lots of advice, but sometimes you just want to open your heart up to another mum who's going through the same thing. We come here because I've learnt lots and it's nice to meet other people in the same situation and on a really bad day. It makes everything feel a million times easier just to know that there's other people going through the same um, things and even if it's not that week, that they'll kind of have a few kind words. I think just in the early days it was nice coming and seeing sort of when we were having a bit of bother coming all mums, pretty much every single mum that comes here had some sort of bother with breastfeeding in the start. So it was nice just to get ideas and things, different things to try. And we got over it. And to know you're not the only one. Yeah, it's not the problem. only one getting through, but like uh, everyone else said, it's nice just an hour and a half to get out of the house. And even if you've just been out for an hour, it can get, make the rest of the day easier, even if he's having bother with his teeth and stuff like that. So, As a first time mum, it's good to kind of chat to other people and get information and uh, about groups, places to go, things like that. It's really helpful actually, um, like everyone else says, it's nice to get out, see other people, <laughs> know what's going on with them and know that you're not alone. It's also good to talk to the health visitors that are here and you know discuss any problems, find out any information about local groups and things like that as well, so for any other things. So. It's really good to get out and she enjoys just coming and looking at everybody. <laughs> it's just nice to talk to other people and see what they're going through and there's another lady here, she had a premature baby as well, so it's quite nice to talk to her about what's going to come what's going to happen over the next few weeks um but i don't know it's just it's nice to have a bit of support if you don't come to groups like this when you go from work and full time to being at home with the baby it can be quite isolating so it's quite nice to to meet up with new people and meet new friends plus it obviously gets the babies to interact with other babies as well so yeah it's really useful and obviously you've got the expert advice available as well um i suppose if you didn't have like this you would be constantly ringing 111 or maybe going to the doctors or googling a lot <laughs> which is always not good um, so yeah it's really really useful really useful it's just nice to have the support of the other mums around and because there are mums obviously with much older babies they've got a lot more experience so when you're having issues you realize that you're not the only one having the issues they've had them before as well and um, yeah and it's just nice to speak to other adults when you spend a lot of time with just a baby it's a bit it seems a bit more normal to um, have adult conversation as well so yeah it's good it's really nice to come to these groups we do have good initiation rates of breastfeeding here in Northumberland um, this it's so and the breastfeeding that's a challenge for a lot of mums. We find that it's the, the practicalities and the realities of breastfeeding and, and how that can be really quite challenging for new mums in the early weeks. So we're really looking to target support in those areas to try and make sure that mums have the best possible start to be able to breastfeed, not only in the early days, but to sustain it through into weeks and months and as long as, as the, them and their babies are happy to continue breastfeeding. So that's very much where we see our role.
Audio Clicks. Be heard.